Hey, how's it going guys? Today, I'm going to talk about best settings for a monitor that I just recently got in the head for about two weeks. It is XG32 UCWMG. It's an Asus brand new 32 inch monitor that does 4K at 240 hertz. And it can also do full HD at 480 hertz, which I do use for Counter-Strike and other fast paced uh, shooters, FPS shooters. Uh, it is a big upgrade, I think. Um, I used to have AW2725DF by Alienware, and I looked a lot into switching, and I think it's probably the best upgrade until very near future, until better technology comes out. So I'm going to show you the best settings for this monitor to get the most out of it from the colors and performance perspective. So let's jump right in. So there's a little button right here at the bottom of the monitor behind the ASUS logo. You want to press on that, that brings you into the menu. And for fast, the first option is a frame rate boost, which flips your monitor in 480 hertz. Keep in mind, you do have to flip it on before you load your game. Um, otherwise, your games will run at 240 hertz max. It is important to load those in a fast-paced shooter games like CS, Overwatch, whatever, Valorant, whatever game you're playing. It does make a difference you will see the difference if you can compute if your computer can pull uh, high frame rates variable refresh rate you want to have it off that is a by the way off position is a little arrow a um, little switch pointing to the left for the game plus those extra overlays for your monitor i don't really mess with them there's a, quite a few options for fps counter cross here snippet timer uh, stopwatch display alignment etc game visual you want to keep it fps mode feel free to mess around with them i think it works the best for me shadow boost is off jumping down to image settings brightness and contrast i keep it 70. i played with it for about two weeks i think those are the best settings they're pleasant for the uh, for your eye and also looks great in any game uh, uniform brightness you want to keep it on at uh, on position it does look a little bit better uh, because monitor um, does seem to fatal. It's it's very subtle, but you can tell if you have it off or on. So play around with it, but I think on it keeps monitor monitor nice and uniform. Uh, clear pixel edge that's supposed to improve text. To my understanding, I don't see any difference, so I keep it off. Aspect control uh, 16 by 9, keep it in default, and uh, vivid pixel you want to keep it at 50. For color, uh, you want to put the wide gamut. Color temperature, uh, 6.5K. I think it's uh, the best. Try to play around with them and see if you like it. There's some different settings better. They do look warmer or cooler. I think this is a perfect spot right in the middle. Saturation is at 50. And for the six axis saturation, I keep it all uh, down the middle at 50. Gamma is 2.0. OLED care, a couple important ones. Uh, pixel cleaning, it is important to perform here and there. It does, uh, monitor does do it automatically, so you don't really have to worry about it. You do want to set a reminder for yourself for eight hours. If you use your monitor for more than eight, hour, eight, eight hours, it will tell you to refresh your pixels. Uh, screen uh, move, middle, on the logo brightness, sure, we'll keep it on, doesn't make any difference. Uh, and the Neo Proximity sensor. So this is a sensor built in right in the bottom right here of the monitor. Um, and it um, basically detects if you're present in front of it and it will put the monitor in the standby uh, mode. So here is the time here, what I used it for. Um, usually see, you can see my OLED uh, time track. I put about 160 hours of use time in it and pixel clean times is 89. So it happens every time I turn it off or on my computer. Uh, input select depending on what you use for your max performance and to get 480 hertz you always want to use DisplayPort. I don't believe it does that on HDMI. Um, you do have an option of plugging in your console into that so you would plug it in HDMI port for example. I don't have a console yet but when GTA 6 comes out I'm probably going to get one and use the same monitor for that. Uh, picture in picture mode uh, you just want to keep it as you please that's completely optional setting this is for full screen and the various options if you desire uh, lightning effect that's the back of your monitor i uh, keep it off i don't really care about rgb lights but there are different options here that you can sync with a uh, asus crate also speaking of that any software that comes from asus i did not install 
I, you don't need any software and it works great without it. Uh, just a bloatware in my opinion. Language, English, and as I have other languages here, like Russian, Polish, all kinds of stuff. Look at that, beautiful. Sound, uh, I don't use sound on this, but it does have an option to have an earphone out. Uh, you can also use this monitor as a KVM switch, meaning which you can have a keyboard mouse plugged into it, which I actually do have my keyboard uh, plugged into the monitor and a cable running from the monitor into my PC. Very useful, but I don't use it as a KVM. If you do have two computers, very useful. You can run it that way and you know, it's built in, which is a great feature that I don't see on any other uh, monitors of this type. Um, uh, type C bandwidth, 2.0, uh, 3.2, I think 3.2 would be better. So I haven't tested it. I kept it at 2.0 because uh, my keyboards, I always keep everything locked at 1000 Hertz refresh rate. But if you want to go higher, I believe it makes sense to flip it to 3.2. Uh, USB hub, it needs to be on. Power indicator, again, it's an optional feature. That's a little Asus logo right under here that you will see lit up if you have it on. And here, power settings, performance mode. That's an important one that I changed. And everything else, I believe, is optional. Yeah, you want to keep everything default here. Display port 1.4. Uh, DSC support, you want to have it on. If you have it off, your monitor will not do 480 hertz. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope uh, you learned something from it. Um, I went over the settings that I tested for about two weeks of having this monitor. I love this monitor, it's great. If you don't like the settings, drop the comment below, tell me what you think. And uh, in any case, I think these settings should give you a good starting point so you can uh, try and test that out yourself. Trial and error, guys. Thank you. Subscribe and follow.